Somebody I want to speak to you about, because there's somebody that we both know, is um, the very lovely Winnie Harlow. Oh, yes, Winnie. So when did you first start working with Winnie? Was it the job we did for Machine Learning? With you, yeah. Well, all right, good. Actually, she mentioned about that um, shoot recently. I saw something, someone tagged me in it, and she, I think she got shot for, like, a Canada fashion magazine with all the Canadian models. Yes, yeah, I saw that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. she was, like, talking about how that shoot really started her in, like, the yeah. more high fashion career. Yeah. We recognised in her something very was obvious to us. She was incredibly beautiful. Yeah. Um, but it was weird that her career really sort of took off. I mean, really sort of, because she did the, the America's Next Top Model. Yeah, which actually I didn't even know. And she didn't enjoy it, apparently. <laughs> no. Um, I don't think anyone enjoyed being on that <laughs> show. <laughs> um, and I remember talking to her, I, I interviewed her for a, obviously a subjective we do. Um, and she was saying, no, I consider the first job was the one that we did wow. with, the, with the Machine A stuff. Yeah. Because um, she just ignored all the kind of, just didn't want, didn't want, so I think it almost made her want to give up. Right, And yeah. she went to that and then she said, actually, this fashion industry isn't for me. Well, I don't know how reflective of the fashion industry America's Next Top Model is. Right. Um, mm. Maybe some parts, but like, yeah. not so much. And then, yeah, so she came and did that shoot, and I think hopefully that, yeah, it's cool that that was Because you dressed her for the bet, didn't you? I've right? just met Winnie for them. I've worked with Winnie a lot over the years. Yeah. I really love Winnie. I find her to be incredibly beautiful and an incredible person and very inspiring. We bring her over to London to shoot that Machine A project, and yeah. then I think I got her over again for, like, to walk in a she. She was, like, one of her first yeah, yeah. fashion week shows, I think. And then we shot her with Diesel, yeah, and yeah. then it just continued. Yeah, I've dressed her for the Met. Um, we've we've worked together lots of times. Yeah, Our, that Diesel campaign was great. Yeah, it was she, really fun. She was amazing in that. Mm -hmm. To be honest, she had such an energy. She does. She definitely has an energy. <laughs> yeah. So for anybody who doesn't know, we had a Diesel campaign with um, Anna Starlet. Nicola was the creative director at Diesel at that point. Yeah. And uh, we just put a bunch of exuberant people in a small space so and said, go, <laughs> go for it. Yeah, and they did, <laughs> they, did. they did. Which is a kind of mixture, cause it could have gone either way, to be honest. Yeah. So you put a lot of extroverted people in one space and you know, they can just go poof. Mm -hmm. But they all were all hung together. Yeah. And uh, Winnie was brilliant, I thought, in that. Yeah, if you look at her great. in those pictures, she's so in control of her modeling, you know, she really works it well. And she's genuinely enjoying herself. You get the pleasure that she's feeling from it in the pictures. Yeah. So I think it was her just actually thinking, this can be for me, this can work for mm -hmm. me, this. And it worked. Yeah. It yeah, definitely yeah. worked for her. Particularly when I noticed working with you, that you like a certain sort of woman. Mm -hmm. And you, I won't say promote a certain sort of woman, but you're enthusiastic about a certain sort of woman. And we did a series of pictures for Show Studio. Um, a little while ago, and I remember uh, Courtney Stodden was one of the people. Oh gosh, you? yeah. Um, and Iggy Azalea, mm -hmm. um, you might have to help me here with the names. We did Lily Allen. Lily Allen, that's right, lovely we Lily. We did um, the girl from Only Way is Essex, Amy yeah. Child? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I think it wasn't it like a reality kind of series yeah, that we did? Yeah, but you you often, and I, was, I speak to you, I remember you getting really excited when we photographed um, young Kylie Jenner. Yeah. yeah. So you often push, or not, I don't sound right, you often are enthusiastic about a certain sort of woman. Does, does that feel like I'm saying the wrong thing to you, or do you feel, do you recognise that in yourself? Um, no, it doesn't feel wrong. I think that, hmm, I've never really thought of it from, that perspective, because all those names that you said are quite sort of like reality, reality culture woman, which I'd never realized. I think I love, it's two things, like I love pop culture mm -hmm. and I'm just inspired by all of it and I, I don't think we should be like snobby towards. No, I guess that's what I'm aiming yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I think everyone can be stylish and exciting and interesting and mm. inspiring. I don't think fine just supermodels inspiring no. or just the top actress inspiring i also find like your real person inspiring like an amy childs at that yeah. time or like a zeitgeist i don't is that the right word Zeitgeist, like kylie jenner yeah yeah um like these kind of icons that just capture the world positively and negatively like yeah. i think it's 
super interesting and so many people have really strong opinions about Very strong. Kylie yeah. um, and personally I just I find that really interesting and but I think you've already you've always in my opinion gone against that sort of criticism of people like the Kardashians or, yeah um, and I remember when I first started photographing Kim and and then on with Kylie I would get quite unpleasant comments back from people you know yeah. why are you promoting people with no talent or I mean it was that and a lot worse yeah um, so it's something I've always really liked in you that you champion that woman the sort of unsnobbish view of the woman you know, yeah. you don't, it's not judgmental it's not it's, it's not fashion can be sometimes a little bit sort of looking down its nose at people yeah definitely yeah. fashion can be very snobby and look down it's definitely can look down its nose at people but then also now look everyone loves Kylie and everyone wants yeah. her on their front changes. row and absolutely like, she has I don't know 500 million followers or something and everyone wants to be a part of that so I think I don't really like how we like look down our nose at people but then want to use them at the same time yeah. for their there's a bit of hypocrisy that yeah. goes through all that exactly but it's, I think with you it's I hear what you're saying but for some reason it feels more deeper than that Hmm. It feels like those sort of ladies give you space to feel that the world's a better place, if you see what I mean. Because if you meet people from reality TV or from pornography or from you know, all different walks of life which are less kind of, you know, re less accepted, shall we say. Right. It feels like the world's a better place for me. It feels like it's, we are let more free. Mm -hmm. and I, don't, I don't know if I'm making my point clearly, but it feels like it's using... Um, people who other people would shun gives you more space personally gives you more space to be yourself yeah maybe and i think it's also cool to take those people and show them in a different yeah. light and yeah. celebrate them and yeah. be like look how incredible this person is or can be seen as yeah. yeah it can it can give more space and it's important we need we need to have all kinds of people yeah. in this world inspiring us like well, I'm there like, are all kinds of people in this world so yeah. yeah and recently I'm really obsessed with uh, Mia Khalifa okay who I think is just stunning and I love her and it's interesting how of course she came from like pornography yeah and now she's like this big influencer and like she was like one of the I always sometimes look at like the stat statistics of Fashion Week and like whose show had like the most posts right, okay. or whatever. All right. And she was like the one of the top influencers of Fashion Week last season. Right. And I'm just like, this is so interesting because people will shun something like that, <laughs> but then like now suddenly she's this big yeah. influencer, which I think is great. I love her and she's so beautiful. I think the internet has brought us in a whole different set of rules mm -hmm. and a whole different set of um, values. Mm -hmm. Because I think before it was fashion was very dominated by a few publications. Yeah. Be it Vogue or Dazed or Elle or whatever. They were pretty much set how it was. And then when the internet started up, it felt a bit like lots more people could say lots more things. I don't know about you, but I find so many people on Instagram you know, oh look at you know hairdressers, jewelry makers, you know everything. I use Instagram so much to find mainly um, like yeah designers, like different mm. artists and designers yeah. to find new people to work with. 